Today we explore the largest objects in the universe, including the largest planets, stars, galaxies, and the largest cosmic structures. Prepare to have your mind blown. First up, the largest known planet, HD 10054b. This behemoth is unlike anything in our solar system, located about 320 light years away in the constellation of Musca. This planet is still in its early stages of formation, with it being less than 10 million years old and is mostly surrounded by thick clouds of dust and gas. Although this gas giant is similar to Jupiter in terms of its chemical composition, it is over 10 times larger. Our best estimates put the diameter at a whopping 986,000 kilometers. To put that into perspective, Jupiter's diameter is around 140,000 kilometers. In fact, we could actually fit 1,300 Earths inside Jupiter. This means you could fit around 350 Jupiters inside the planet. If we put it next to Jupiter, it would completely dwarf the largest planet in our solar system. The crazy part is that this monstrous planet is by far the smallest compared to the rest. Next, we have the largest known star in the universe. Although the true size of these giant stars is largely unknown, the largest star is believed to be the red hypergiant Stevenson 218. Stevenson 218 is astonishingly large, with a radius more than 2,150 times that of the Sun. This gives it a diameter of almost 3 billion kilometers. To put this into perspective, if the star were placed at the center of our solar system, it would engulf the orbits of the planets out to around Saturn. Given its immense radius, the volume of the star is staggering. It's so large that it could contain billions of suns. In fact, you could fit the volume of our entire solar system, including the Oort cloud, inside this star. Imagine a grain of sand. This tiny speck represents our sun. Now. Picture a large towering hot air balloon about 32 meters in diameter. This balloon represents the size of Stevenson 218. Massive stars like Stevenson 218 burn through their nuclear fuel much faster than smaller stars. Despite its size, the star is relatively young in stellar terms, but it's already nearing the end of its life. Its life is expected to end in a spectacular supernova explosion within a few million years. Stevenson 218's immense size is astounding, yet even it will get dwarfed by what comes next. Up next, we have the largest black hole in the universe, Tun 618, with an estimated mass of 66 billion solar masses. Its diameter is around 388 billion kilometers. This means the diameter of Tun 618 is around 130 times larger than Stevenson 218, the largest known star in the universe. In fact, it is so large that we could fit 11 solar systems side by side inside its event horizon. This is extraordinarily massive, even by supermassive black hole standards. For context, the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy, Sagittarius A, has a diameter of around 25 million kilometers and a mass of around 4.3 million solar masses. Tun 618 completely dwarfs Sagittarius A and has a radius over 15,000 times larger. Tun 618 is not just massive, it's also incredibly luminous. As a quasar, it is one of the brightest objects in the universe. Its brightness is so intense that it outshines the combined light of its entire galaxy. This luminosity is generated by the accretion disk of the black hole. As matter spirals in, it heats up to extreme temperatures, emitting vast amounts of light and radiation. Next, we have the largest galaxy in the universe. Galaxies are already incomprehensibly large. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, has a diameter of 100,000 light years. Even Tun 618, the largest black hole, is a mere fraction of that. And even an object with such incomprehensible size as the Milky Way is dwarfed by the behemoth IC1101. This enormous galaxy is located at the center of the Abel 2029 galaxy cluster and presents some truly astonishing features. It extends over a diameter of about 4 million light years. To put this into perspective, the Milky Way is only about 100,000 light years in diameter. This means the galaxy is roughly 40 times larger than our own. The formation of such a massive galaxy remains a topic of research and debate among astronomers. However, it is believed that it grew to its current size by merging with numerous smaller galaxies 
over billions of years. Next, we move on to the largest cosmic structures, which dwarf even the largest galaxies. The first of these colossal structures are the mysterious cosmic voids. Cosmic voids are vast, sparsely populated regions in the universe with fewer galaxies and less matter than in denser areas like galaxy clusters and superclusters. The largest cosmic void is known as Botez Void. The void size is mind-boggling, with a diameter of about 250 to 330 million light years. This means you could line up thousands of galaxies like the Milky Way, cross the expanse of the Botez Void, and still have room to spare. Finally, we are left with the largest objects in the universe, galaxy superclusters. Galaxy superclusters are made up of a vast collection of various galaxies and galaxy clusters, bound together by gravity, forming a web-like structure. The largest of these superclusters is known as the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall and is the largest known cosmic structure in the universe. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall is an immensely vast structure that spans an estimated distance of approximately 10 billion light years. This immense size means you could fit the largest galaxy in the universe, IC1101, over 2,000 times across the structure.